Welcome to the classic Bremen Cathedral, also known as the St. Peter's Cathedral from the St. Peter. The site for the current Bremen Cathedral has been verified as the site of many religious structures. The place has a long and somewhat troublesome history. The first religious structure on the site was a timber church, constructed as early as the year 789. The timber church didn't last long, as the Saxons attacked and burned it just three years later. Another church, made of local sandstone, was established in 805. This church later became important and played a central role when it came to converting northern Germany and Scandinavia to Christianity. During the mid-thousandth century, the church was in the process of being rebuilt and enlarged, but in 1041, most of Bremen, including the cathedral, was destroyed by a devastating fire. When the construction of a new church started, the church was given a Romanesque style, with two stubby flat-topped towers on the west side and a flat timber ceiling. Romanesque architectural style is also known as Norman style, from the way the Normans used to design their buildings, functional, compact and minimalistic. In order to get the church up as soon as possible, they cut some corners and used parts of the city walls as building materials to reduce the cost. This proved to be a major mistake, as the short-sightedness resulted in Saxon sacking of the cathedral and the city in 1064. To put it simple, the city of Bremen and its churches in particular had some rough times. However, the church survived the Saxon sacking and it was later remodeled in the 13th century to reflect the new architectural trend of the time, the Gothic architecture. The church was reconstructed using baked bricks and the flat ceiling was changed to rib vaulting, which is one of the hallmarks of Gothic church architecture. The two towers and the front wall were blended together and a rose window was added. The transition into a Gothic church continued in the late 15th century, when several new chapels were added. Due to the Protestant Reformation that swept through northern Germany, the church later became a Lutheran church in 1638. In January the very same year, the South Tower collapsed, causing severe damage to its surrounding buildings, killing eight people. In 1660, a bolt of lightning struck the North Tower and burned the roof, which collapsed into the knob, destroying the roof. The North Tower was quickly rebuilt as a stubby, flat-roofed structure. The South Tower remained in its ruined form. Bad luck and destruction had once again struck the Bremen Cathedral. Due to the conflict between different interests within the church, Little effort was made to restore the building to its former glory. It was as late as in the 1880s that the citizens of Bremen decided to restore it. Money was raised for the restoration and the work began in 1888. When restoring the building, much thought was given to the history of the site and the different stages it had gone through. The west front of the cathedral reflects the Romanesque origin of the building whereas the lower sections were restored to show the sandstone origins of the building. The rest of the cathedral is built in the characteristic Hanseic brick style of northern Germany. The interior of the church was restored in the Gothic style, making it difficult to see the changes in style that occurred over time. Reconstruction continued on and off until 1901, when the cathedral reopened. During the Second World War, the cathedral was struck by a firebomb during an Allied air raid in 1943, which caused severe damage to the building. In 1945, a high explosive bomb caused a collapse of the roof vaulting. During this stage, the structure was so severely damaged that it was feared that the building would totally collapse. However, the ruins were stabilized and the cathedral was reconstructed in the 1950s. From 1972 to 1981, 
the building was once again restored to the high Gothic form of the 1901 restoration, which is the beautiful cathedral you can see today. During the Middle Ages, the towers had eight bells. Today, however, the towers host the cathedral's four bells. The North Tower has three bells, whereas the Southern holds a single. The oldest surviving bell is the Maria Gloriosa, cast in 1433 by the famous bell maker Gerd Klinger. The other bells were removed and melted down for the war effort in World War II. In 1951, two bells, Hansa and Felicitas, were donated to the cathedral by former residents living abroad. In 1962, a prominent Bremen family donated a fourth bell, the Bremer, which hangs in the South Tower. Bremen Cathedral is known for its long history of fine organs and music. Besides the large organ, another important attraction is also the lead cellar, known as the Bleikeller. The basement is located beneath the knob, which even before the Reformation had a reputation as an excellent place to preserve the bodies of the dead in amazing form. Today, eight mummies in glass-topped coffins can be seen down there. The crypt has become the cathedral's most visited attraction for more than 300 years. The cathedral also houses a museum that was constructed in one of the side chapels in the 1970s. The cathedral museum displays various items discovered in the tombs under the Nav. Two interesting traditions with connection to the cathedral is that when a man reaches the age of 30 and is not married, he must sweep the cathedral steps until a young lady gives him a kiss, which then releases him from his duty. When a woman who reaches her 30th birthday remains unmarried, she must polish the cathedral doorknobs in the company of friends and family until they are all released by the kiss of a young man. <laughs>